What, what happened was, uh, we were hanging around the newsroom, it was around noon, and uh, the president of CBS News was out at lunch somewhere and I couldn't find him. And there was a flash on the wires. The president's been shot. And I picked the phone and I called Frank Stanton, who was then president of CBS. And his secretary said, he's in a very important meeting. And uh, he can't be disturbed. I said, disturb him. She said, okay, but you take the responsibility. I said, you got it. So he got on the phone. He was very annoyed. He said, what is it? I said, the president's been shot. He said, oh, my God. Okay. Don't go back. Uh, it's, what are you doing right now? I said, Cronkite's on the air. He said, stay on the air. Don't go back to regular programming until we know whether he's dead or alive. And then he called me back and said, no, forget that. Don't go back to regular programming at all, no matter what. So we stayed on the air for about a day and a half, almost two days. And at one moment, the thing came in, the announcement that the president had died at Parkland Hospital in Dallas. And Walter broke down on the air. And Walter announced it and broke down and got choked up and had to be relieved. And we put Charlie Collingwood in to relieve him. And he went in his office and he kind of sobbed a little. And uh, he said the only time he was ever rude to a viewer, his phone rang and it was a woman who said, how could you put on that phony act of crying when you're the one who hated President Nixon? He said, lady, you're a goddamn fool. And he hung up. He said, I've never done that before. Um, and we stayed on the air for, uh, I think, three days. And there was a funny thing happened. In the middle, we ran the whole network out of my office for 36 hours. We didn't went off the air. I went home to get about three or four hours sleep, and I came back. And there are guys putting down drop cloths, and the painters are there. I said, what are you doing? What are you, crazy? What are you? And the guy said, no, no, Dr. Stanton says we, this office has to be painted. I said, you're out of your mind. So I called him. I said, Frank, did you send the painters here? He said, no. Yesterday, I was looking around, and I said, well, boy, this office could use a coat of paint. But I just said to myself, and in those days, Somebody jumped, one of his aides said, okay, get the painters here. In the middle of this Kennedy assassination thing, it was the afternoon that Jack Ruby got shot by Oswald. Oh, excuse me. The afternoon that Oswald got shot by Ruby, I knew one of them got shot, in the uh, driveway coming over where the garage out of the uh, Dallas police headquarters. Uh, we stayed on the air and on the air and on the air and uh, that time with Cronkite is memorable.